Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and this is my first video of 2022. Uh, I may be late into the year a little bit after my plans fell through, but hey. Um, firstly, thank you for everyone who has kind of supported my channel so far. Um, there's going to be a ton of new videos coming out in terms of uh, 5M development um, and other things like that. Um, I do have a Discord server where I do one-to-one -one support uh, with people. Uh, any questions can be answered in there. There's also a great community within there that can answer your questions if I'm not available. Uh, stuff like that. One of the most renowned questions I get is about vMenu. Uh, vMenu servers are quite frequent on 5M, um, so it, it's definitely apparent that people want to learn how to install and customize vMenu. In one of my previous tutorials I have kind of briefly touched on installing vMenu just so it gives you a menu to use, um, but I'm going to re-go over how to install vMenu um, and also just how to edit some of the basic uh, permissions just to give you a rough idea of how to edit the file as there isn't really many of that videos or tutorials of how to do it. So um, based off the last video um, I've got my FX server folder. Uh, if you haven't already got a 5M server set up locally or on a hosting provider um, what, there's a, I'll link the video on the screen um, just head over to that um, and you'll be able to watch the video and go through it. So we're going to go into TXD to go into the base folder um, and exactly how it's set up. So I'm going to uh, just go and download vMenu. So you can just Google it. Um, you can go via the 5M, but I normally just go via Tom's GitHub. Um, it's a little bit easier just to grab. Go down to releases and just grab the latest release. There might have been an update since my last video, I'm not too sure. So we're going to open up that, and it opens up on one of my other screens, both me. Um, and then what we're just going to do is go into the resources folder. We're just going to create a new folder. We're going to call it view menu. Then we're just going to go back to the raw file and drag and drop. And that's it installed. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to come over to the server.cfg file. Uh, where you're going to find uh, quite a bit on here. Um, I, I am thinking about doing another video on this. Uh, so yeah, we're going to add in the file now. Um, so we're going to drop down a couple of lines. And so we're going to execute the permissions file, um, which we're going to be editing in just a second. So you can do exec, which is execute, then resources. Then you're going to go to vmenu. And then you're going to go to the config folder and then go to permissions.cfg. That will then basically start the permissions file. Then what you're gonna do is gonna drop down another line and you're gonna go ensure vmenu. So in other words, what that's doing is the exec line that's gonna be locating and executing the permissions file, the ensuring vmenu that it's gonna be starting the resource. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to that permissions file now. So we're going to go back into File Explorer, go to Resources. So it's the same path. So Resources, vMenu, Config, Config, Permissions.cfg, Permissions.cfg. And then we're going to open it in whatever text editor you'd like. Now there is quite a bit of detail on here. Um, I'm not going to make a full video on every particular line. It is very well commented. Um, but if you do want to know what something means, um, just post it in the comments or join the Discord. Any number of people can help you. So we're going to scroll down to the, the actual permissions section. Now, I'm just going to cover some of this. So the actual player identification stuff here. So, for example, the line 140. Um, so the principle identify.steam. This is someone's Steam Hex. I think it's Tom's uh, by default. And then it's giving him the permission group.admin. Now I'll show you the group.admin permissions in a second. The one underneath it is a license. Now you can use license, you can use Steam Hex, you can use the 5M identifier. Um, the, there's plenty of different ones. The only two that I would generally recommend is either Discord 
or Steam. I'm going to cover Discord permission setup uh, in a different video, um, so that'll be coming out hopefully soon. Um, so that's that section. Group inheritance. So essentially what this is, is you can create, so let's say we create the moderator group and we give the moderator um, be able to no clip and we give them to be able to spectate and stuff like that. Um, but then you want admin to be able to have the same stuff. So instead of creating the whole new group and then just listing all those permissions again, we're inheriting the, the the permissions from the moderator group into the admin group. So let's say that you create like an owner group, for example, you would do add principal and then group.owner would inherit from group.admin, if that makes sense. So that's basically how the group inheritance works. So you do the new group and then the inheriting group. Next, um, in the previous video, if you are doing a local host server, it's just as easy just to remove the hashtag just here, and that'll give you absolutely everything on the menu. However, if you are making a production server, by that I mean a server that is going to be joinable by other people and playable by other people, you might not want to have that. So in this case, we're going to make sure it's still commented out. Now, in terms of permissions, um, this is what I was saying. So group.admin has the permission of don't kick me. So in other words, another staff member cannot kick that person and another staff member cannot ban that person. Um, so that just kind of stops, for example, trial moderators on your server coming on and banning the owner or banning the head admin or something like that. Um, vmenu.staff, I don't really see it used a lot. Um, this is essentially if you didn't want normal players to have access to vMenu, but only the staff team. I don't see a lot of people who are using that. I, I don't think I've really joined any servers that use that. Um, but yeah. So no clip. Um, Bulletin.everyone is essentially the term that means um, everyone on the on the server, no matter what rank they are, will have access to that. Now, generally speaking, on a production server, on a roleplay server, you don't really want to give no clip to everyone. So we already know that the group.moderator has been created. So we're going to allow moderators to have it. So we're going to replace bulletin.everyone with group.moderator, which will essentially remove the permission from everyone but moderators and above because the inheritance is copying from moderator to admin and then admin to owner. Next, um, the online players. So in terms of me, my, my personal preference, um, I don't like random players being able to waypoint, teleport or spectate other players because that ruins the RP. So I'm going to change the bulletin to everyone and I'm going to change that to um, group.moderator because I only want staff, if I can spell it correctly. So because I only want moderators to be able to teleport to people and I only want moderators to be able to spectate people. I don't want everyone to be able to. Waypoint, that's just up to you, to be honest. Um, if you want people to be able to um, go into the M menu, go to online players, that person and then set a waypoint and be able to drive straight to them or teleport straight to them. That's down to you. However, my personal preference is creating that as a moderator rank. Now you come down to the staff permissions. So summoning kill and kick is all moderators and then temporary banning up to 30 days and viewing online, uh, sorry, viewing banned players is also moderator. You can, you can change this however you like. Now, Identifier is perm ban and unban. This is group.admin. So in other words, no one under the admin rank will have access to that. So a moderator won't be able to permanently ban someone. Now you reach, so now you've come into the bigger part of the permissions file. So this is where you control each and individual subsection within the menu. Now, if you are going to edit these, um, make sure to comment out the group uh, the group.all. 
So if you remove the group.all, then you can pick and choose what you want. However, if you don't comment out the dot all, they'll have access to everything. So I want normal players to have access to unlimited stamina so they can continue running. I want them to have access to never wanted. Um, I want them to have access to clean, dry, wet, um, and scenarios. Scenarios is the uh, emotes menu within B menu. So I want them to have access to those things, but I don't want them to have access to the other things. So let's say though that you wanted the admin rank to have the god. Now you can either just edit it, edit it here, or if you want to make it easy for yourself, and you just go to the app and stuff, you paste it. But you want to make sure you change the bulletin dot everyone. So we're going to change that to group dot admin. And now, now they have now the admin rank will have access to going in god mode. The same with the other ones. Um, it's it. This is kind of a, a per case basis. So you you're going to have to decide what you want your players to have access to. So. If you're going to edit it, don't forget, remove the all. So we're just going to comment it out and then just go through um, and just pick and choose what you want your players to have access to. Um, there you go. So that's my preference. Um, the vehicle spawners now um, vehicle blacklisting, I'm going to go over in a different video um, because that is a whole different subject. However, this is just restricting by category. So spawn by name, we want to allow because if you are offering um, custom cars on your server, you might want to give someone the spawn code so they can just type it in. If you have add-on cars, you can un un allow them permission here. But we want them to have access to compact sedans, SUVs, co coupes. Uh, muscle, sports, classic sports. We don't want them to have access to supercars. We want them to have access to motorcycles, off-road, industrial, utility, vans, cycles, boats. Nope. Um, helicopters, planes, we don't want them to have access to. Service, we don't want them. Emergency, we want them to have access to. We don't want them to have military. We want them to have commercial. That's all done. Coming down, um, the saved vehicles menu, I would generally leave it as it is. Um, that just allows players to be able to save their cars with the correct configuration that they have. Personal vehicle menu, um, again, your preference. Player appearance, your preference. Time options, group.moderator only has this. And group.moderator has weather permissions as well. You can change this to whatever rank you want. Weapon options, um, again, your preference. And then wep weapon specific. This is going to take some time for you to fully go through. Um, there is a lot of options. It basically lists out the weapons that you want people to have. So for example, um, if you want someone to have access to, I don't know, an AP pistol, but you don't want them to have access to an RPG, you, I've covered it in this video. Just remove the hashtags that you want them to have access to. Don't remove the hashtag if you don't want them to have access to it. There is mods as well that you can blacklist weapons and stuff like that. Weapon loadouts. Um, my personal preference on this is generally to remove it um, from players only because if someone goes, let's say that you blacklist an RPG um, and the player um, goes onto a different server who allows an RPG, they save it as a weapon option. They come onto your server and you can use it. Now there are, like I said, there are mods that you can blacklist that weapon, um, but that's just something that you will need to set up, which I, again, I'll go over in a different video. Scrolling down, going into MISC settings. So from here, um, you can essentially, um, have clear area, teleport to waypoint, coordinates, show coordinates, night vision. So we're going to get rid of a couple of these. So we don't want we don't want players to have access to night vision. We don't want people to have access to thermal. Uh, we don't want names above heads, um, and we don't want them to have access to drift mode or the entity spawner. So that's that. 
voice chat. Um, this is down to you. I am going to cover it PMA voice in a different video, um, simply because I love PMA. Um, it's one of the, probably the best uh, voice platforms out there for 5M. Um, so when you're inside of a building, you can hear people's voices, but they're echoed slightly. Um, as you walk away from someone, their voice gets quieter. As you get closer, it gets nearer. There's phone scripts that integrate with it. There, it it's cool. It's really cool. So I'll cover that in a different video. But that is briefly and very quickly your permissions file sorted. So that's about it. Um, if you guys do need any further assistance, again, join the Discord. Um, but apart from that, have a wonderful day.